bombshell, Hillary linked to famous death, then evidence mysteriously disappears. One of the grand ironies concerning Hillary Clinton's constant harping on Russian interference is that she herself has a rather shady history of cover-ups and scandals. Now it appears that Clinton has found herself in another fiasco. In late August, the British tabloid Daily Mail reported that the FBI files that may provide a clue to Hillary Clinton's involvement in the suicide of Vince Foster have gone missing from government archives. Original reports quote archivist James Mathis as saying that the files simply disappeared one day from the National Archives. Writer Ronald Kessler noted on a second visit, archivist James Mathis provided what he said were those same documents, while the box contained dozens of FBI reports concerning Foster's death, including interviews with the medical examiner, U.S. Park police officers, and White House aides about the contents of Foster's office, the reports on Hillary Clinton's role in the, his death were absent. <laughs> How convenient, right? Many anti-Clinton campaigns have long suspected that Foster was either encouraged to commit suicide or was murdered because of inside knowledge regarding the Whitewater scandal. The federal government has claimed that they are investigating this case, but more jaundiced writers have already predicted that Clinton will avoid justice again. Amazingly, this is not the first time that some files related to the Clintons have been stolen or gone missing from the National Archives. In the mid-2000s, former National Security Advisor Sandy Berger stole several documents from the National Archives in order to cover up some very inconvenient facts about his former boss, President Bill Clinton. Berger illegally removed several classified documents, most of which involved the Clinton administration's response to the failed Millennium Plot of 2000. It is also believed that Berger stole documents that showed that the Clinton administration knew about the 9-11 plot but refused to act on this information. For his crimes, Berger was convicted of a misdemeanor and was forced to pay a $50,000 fine. <laughs> what a joke, right? It seems when it comes to the crimes of Democrats or Clinton insiders, a slap on the wrist is mandatory. If a close Clinton associate really did remove the FBI documents concerning the death of Vince Foster, then there must be something worth reading in those files, you think? Hillary Clinton has long denied that she had anything to do with Foster's suicide. However, Foster's death came not long after the fi he filed three years' worth of delinquent tax claims regarding the Whitewater Car Corporation. The FBI files that may provide a clue to Hillary Clinton's involvement in the suicide of Vince Foster have gone missing from government archives. Is she the queen of cover-ups? Of course she is. This means that Foster was directly implicated in the scandal which saw the Clintons and their close associates in Arkansas using political power and insider privileges to maximize their profits during certain land deals. If it has been pursued, if it had been pursued to the fullest extent of the law, the Whitewater scandal could have ruined the Clinton dynasty back in the 1980s. However, due to mishaps, shoddy investigations, and Republican overreach, the Clintons got away, and President Clinton continued to be America's president until 2001. 
These missing documents should be found and found soon. It like it, it, it likely that they are already long gone. It's likely, I would assume. <laughs> are you kidding me? It seems that the Clintons have powerful supporters who are willing to do anything for their benefactors. Of course they are. They're all nut jobs. And they just get a slap in the wrist, like 50 grand. What's 50 grand to Hillary Clinton to, to pull those files? Absolutely nothing. It's like, it's like asking you for a dollar. That's basically it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.